Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about an awesome Windows app I just discovered that makes it a lot more convenient to change the settings of your monitor. I'm shocked I'd never heard of it before. Better late than never, I guess. Anyway, the app I want to talk about is called Click Monitor DDC, and it works with Windows 7, 8, or 10. What's great about this app is that it can control your monitor settings such as brightness, contrast, and more through the use of hotkeys or mouse controls. Laptops easily have these settings built into the operating system, but with a desktop, unless the monitor's manufacturers has software that will let you do this, you're stuck using the monitor's physical buttons to change these settings and monitors usually don't have the most intuitive user interfaces. This is where Click Monitor DDC comes in. It's a freeware application that lets you change settings using your mouse or keyboard. So for example, if you're working in the dark and need to lower the brightness of your monitor, use your mouse to decrease its brightness. Your monitor is now too dark and the sun is out? Then use a hotkey to increase brightness. This is possible because of the Display Data Channel Protocol, or DDC for short. This protocol allows the monitor and the computer to communicate with each other and change settings. So let's move on and see how to use this app. I'm going to parrot the disclaimer that's in the application's help file. You use the software at your own risk. I disclaim any responsibility for any harm. I've never heard of this program damaging monitors, but like the developer said, use it at your own risk. I tried this application on my two ViewSonic monitors. One is connected through HDMI and the other is connected through DVI. I'm not sure if this will work with VGA monitors or if it will work with all monitors with digital connections. The best I can tell you is to try the application and see if it works. When you first install the application, it can be really confusing. So I want to walk you through how I configured the app to work easy for me. Unfortunately, it looks like the app is no longer in development because its website no longer exists. So to obtain it, I used a link from Softpedia. I'll provide the link in the description but I'm hoping development continues. So install the file from the description link. After the installation is done, you should see this window, but just close it for now. I want to show you something first. If you look at the system tray, you will see several new number icons of different colors. Since I have multiple monitors, I'm shown more icons than someone with only one monitor would have. Each of these numbers represent a monitor setting. These magenta slash pink numbers represent brightness, Green numbers represent contrast, orange numbers represent saturation, and if your monitor supports it, purple numbers represent volume. I don't know if these colors would be different for you, but you can always hover over each number to see what setting it changes. You can also change the color of these numbers in the settings. While you're hovering over a number, you can move your mouse wheel to change that specific setting. For example, when I hover the mouse over this number and then move my mouse wheel, the brightness changes. I then move the mouse over to this other number, and then the contrast changes. In addition, you can also click on any of the icons and get a menu to control all the monitor settings. Already, I find this a lot more convenient than using my monitor's buttons, but I really hate the fact that there are so many extra icons in my system tray. Fortunately, Click Monitor DDC is very configurable and we can consolidate this. I want there to be only one number icon and I want that icon to change my brightness. Since clicking on the icon will bring up the menu to change other settings, I really don't need the extra icons. To make this change, right click on any of the icons, click settings, make sure you're in the general settings section, in the area where it says individual font and icon settings for each monitor, uncheck the settings you don't want. I'm unchecking everything and just leaving the brightness for my main monitor checked. You can see your monitor names in these text boxes. To get rid of the icon for volume, you will have to uncheck default volume icon. Click apply and you're done. If I look at the system tray again, there will now be one click monitor DDC icon and it will change the monitor's brightness. I move my mouse over it, then move the mouse wheel and the brightness changes. I'm also no longer bombarded with all these extra icons. To change other monitor settings, I'll click on the icon, and in the window that pops up, you have bars to change the settings for your monitor. 
Put your mouse over a bar, then move the mouse wheel to make the changes. You can also drag the bar. Or just click on a specific position on the bar. If I want to change the settings for my second monitor, I can choose it up here and do the same. This is my preferred way of controlling the settings. However, you may prefer using hotkeys. I'll now show you how to do that. Right click on any of the system tray icons and click settings. Click on manage hotkeys. Make sure activate hotkeys is checked. Click on one of the boxes under the key combination column and enter the key combo you want to use. I want this combo to increase the brightness of my main monitor and I'll set it to control alt up arrow. Now we need to input a command that will make the monitor increase brightness. To do that, we need the monitor's name. Click on general settings. And in the area where we see the monitor's name, click on the monitor name you want to affect. A new window will pop up with a text box that has the monitor's name. You can either copy this name or change it to something you prefer and is easier to remember. I'm going to rename it to monitor one. I'll also change the name of my second monitor to monitor 2. Now let's go back to manage hotkeys. In the command line box, write the monitor name, for me it's monitor 1, space, b, space, plus, space, 5. This command will increase brightness of monitor 1 by 5. Let me go through the command in detail. Monitor 1 is the name of the monitor, the b means brightness, the plus means increase, and the five means how many units to increase by. Now I'll add a hotkey for lowering brightness. I'll click on another box under key combination. This hotkey will be control, alt, down arrow. And the command will be monitor one, space, B, space, minus, space, five. This command will decrease brightness of monitor one by five. Time to test the hotkeys. Click on OK. The hotkeys won't work while the settings are open, so we need to close them. I'll try out the hotkeys. And they work. If you want to change other monitor settings, you can get a full list of commands by right clicking on the system tray icon, then click on Help. Scroll down and look at the command line usage section to see the commands that change other settings. Now you can just go back to the hotkey settings and add any more hotkeys you want. This app is pretty awesome. I'm here still wondering why I've never heard of it, so I had to create a video to help other people find it. I hope the app isn't discontinued since the website is no longer up. It would be a shame if in the future it stops working. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.